in October, October 29th of 2011, when I was 30 years old, my mother passed away. She was 52. And less than, well, about a year before that, we lost my grandmother as well, who was sort of like a second mother to me. I was very close with her. And that was my mother's mother. The two of them were my foundation. Um, less than two and a half years after my mother passed away, I found a golf ball sized lump in my left breast. That was July of 2014. Now it is November of 2015. So it has been a year and about three months, four months, <clears throat> since I found a golf ball sized lump, lump in my left breast. I have been vegan for two and a half years now. I moved to Lansdale, Pennsylvania in September of 2014, successfully doing a raw, 100% raw vegan diet for over two months. In that time, the tumor continued to grow. It has grown and taken over my entire breast at this point. I'm sorry, it's hard to <coughs> breathe, <coughs> talk. <clears throat> so that's why I'm talking kind of funny. I'm going to show now what my breast looks like. I don't I'm, I don't know if I'm going to keep this video. Uh... All right, I'm going to sh show now what my breast looks like. So I'm going to warn you that it is gruesome. So if you don't want to see it, Please look away now. I'll only show it for a few seconds. So look away now. Here we go. Let me get into the sunlight here. This is what my breast looks like now. It is, the cancer is spreading around my side and it is trying to spread over to my other breast now. And all of my shirts have a hole in them now, so that... Okay, I'm done showing it. You can look again if you had looked away. I need money. I really, really need money to save my life. Doctors can't help me. They told me many months ago that this was too large to operate. I wouldn't have chosen operation anyway, but, oh, oh, oh. I need $25,000 to go to this treatment center, and that amount of money will allow me to stay there as long as I need to, and hopefully have enough to fly myself there and back, and I have to bring a companion, and the person that is willing to be my companion lives in England, and I, and she doesn't have money, and I have to be able to fly her there too, and back. So I might need more than 25,000, and that amount doesn't even, doesn't even cover what I'll need after the fact to continue the therapy that I have to do for two years that costs a min minimum of $2,500 a month. This is my last hope. And I need, I really, really need more help. I can't. Stay here any more. I want to live. I I want to heal this life so that I 
can help other other people heal too. And I've been able to raise about twenty five hundred dollars so far. And look at what's become of me. I've lost so much weight and I don't look like myself and I'm not <laughs> I'm in so much pain every day. <laughs> it's hard to breathe now. I can only lay on my back, but my back is so sore. <laughs> I, my, my ex stepfather's family has money, but I don't think they want to help me. And I have nowhere else to turn. So please, if you know anybody who may be willing to donate, even if it's only five dollars, please, please help. Um, if you know somebody who may be willing to donate a significant amount, please help. I need a lot, a lot of money, and I can't work. And I'm really scared and I don't have any money. <laughs> I'm 34 years old. I'm a vegan and an animal lover and an artist. <laughs> and a sensitive, empathic person. Who has precognitive dreams. And who has a lot of love to give. And I love to teach, and I love to help people and animals. And I really do want to live, and I, w I want to know what it's like to live a good life. There's uh, someone asking for money for a, a cancer clinic or the Gerson therapy or whatever. I think, in my opinion, in my honest opinion, it's a scam. I feel this person's using uh, makeup or black salve on their body and asking for money. It's, they look like a bit of a smack addict, a bit of a druggie. And in my honest opinion, it's a scam. They say, no, I've got 25,000, I need 100,000. And it, it, just, it, it just seems really wrong to me. Someone says, oh, they put their blood tests, etc. Like, I'll tell you what, man. I can fucking print up anything on the internet. I can print up anything. I can use letterhead, etc., from a legit uh, doctor surgery. And tell you what, it's hundred percent fakeable because that person go, well, well, had the doctor's phone and number on there. You can ring up that doctor and phone number. They're not going to uh, disclose any patient information to a stranger. No fucking way, they're not because that's a violation of privacy laws. $100,000. Or whatever they're asking for, just a scammer. In my opinion, I'm hoping to be improving wrong, but that's my opinion. I feel it's a scam. Just look in that person's eyes, it's just, I see darkness, I see scammer. Scammer radar, trigger alert. Uh, but in terms of like providing blood tests, it's not, all my blood tests could be total scams. Now I'm willing to put $100,000 on every single blood test I put up is legit. And we could go, if you personally come with me to the doctor and I'll show you that if anyone wants to think that, oh, hang on, you're not, you just said it's easy to scam it, so maybe you're your blood test then. Well, I'm definitely willing to back $100,000 to anyone who thinks my blood tests are a scam. Well, it's me blood tests coming as well. But, so I definitely will back what I say with money. This person though, you know, I don't know, it, it seems very suspicious to me. What do you think down below? Because I'll tell you what, our community is very easy to exploit. So many trusting people, naive people, well-meaning people. But I've been around the block a few times, been on the sun 38 times now, been in prison, hanging out with a lot of hustlers and scammers. This person rides in the wrong way. I'm not going to mention the person's name, but I think if you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. Be careful. There's hustlers out there, and I think for anyone who wants extraordinary help, they have to provide extraordinary evidence, in my opinion. That's just me.
I'm being told by close friends and the one family member that I'm still speaking with um, that some less than intelligent people online are spending a lot of time and energy trying to convince others <coughs> that I'm lying. Um, the treatment center that I've been in contact with for over two months now have decided to tell me two days ago that my condition is too advanced and that they won't take me. So now I am spending time to try to find a new treatment center to go to. I need more help than just nutritional therapy. I have a lot of muscle pain. I've lost a lot of weight. I have trouble breathing. Um, it comes and goes. Mostly it's present. Sometimes it's a little easier. Like right now I'm able to talk a little bit better than I am toward the end of the day. <clears throat> um, and I require a little bit more help at the moment with things like dishes and laundry and... Um, I can't walk for too long of a distance because I get short of breath and I get tired. I've lost a lot of weight. Did I say that already? Um, I'm five foot seven and three quarters and I am now down to 119 pounds. And um, sometimes I need help even sitting up in bed. So nutritional therapy is great and I will continue to do that. And I would like more help with that. And I would also like to do other therapies like high dose vitamin C, oxygen therapy, and much, much more. So I share the details that I'm comfortable sharing. The rest is for me. If you think that I'm faking after this video, I would like to ask you to please go harass somebody else. The people who are intelligent the people who have a heart, the people <coughs> who are in touch with their intuition will know that this is real. And to the people who have donated already, thank you so, so, so much because I had nothing and you know that. And now my options are much broader and I don't know where, <coughs> where I'll be going now. If you're wondering why I'm having trouble breathing and you haven't put two and two together, it is because the cancer is metastasizing. If you don't know what that means, please look it up. So what I'm going to do now is apparently I have to take time out of my day of trying to save my own life and trying to find a treatment center that will take me and that I can afford. I apparently have to take time out of that to prove to people that I have cancer? <laughs> I have to prove that I have cancer. Do you hear what that sounds like? By the way, <clears throat> I normally don't say the phrase, I have cancer, so just know that that's not my normal language. Um, but for this video, for these purposes, I am using that phrase. So, <coughs> this is the third take of this video. Um, I'm running out of breath. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show my breast again. If you think that this is makeup, there's something wrong with your brain. So, if you don't want to see... Again, I'd like you to please look away. Um, if anybody reports this, I will continue to upload it over and over again. So, here we go. I'm going to show it. Oh, wait, actually. First, I want to show you the goiter, which I don't think I have shown very clearly. So, I'm going to swallow. So, watch my neck here. So, that is a swollen thyroid. Um, hyperthyroid, this hormone imbalance is feeding the cancer. Okay, so now I'm going to show the breast, so please look away if you don't want to see it. And I'm in better light this time. Um, so here we go, and here it is. Um, as you can see, 
The nipple has been gone for quite some time. Um, I would say since May or April. Um, and as you can see, it is trying to spread over to my other breast now. Um, these raised areas are... I don't know what they are, just nodules, I guess, on the tumor that are trying to bust through. Um, and then you can see that it is spreading around my side. So I'm going to get a little closer with the camera now, and keep in mind that this is an iPad camera, so it's not going to be high quality, so it's just going to have to be, if this is what I have, I'm working with the tools that I have. So. This is the cancer busting through the skin. This is what you're looking at, and it, it oozes, and I have to wipe it off. And if I don't wipe it off, it eats away at the skin. It eats away at the flesh, and that's what you're seeing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch it, so you can see this is not makeup, and it's not as painful as it looks. I mean, if I were to start poking at it or bump it, it would hurt like hell. But I can touch it. It is very... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, it's very much a part, of, a part of me at the moment. It's very heavy. Um, so that's that, and I'm done. And you can look back if you weren't looking. So, so that's that, and this video has already gone on too long. So now I am going to show, which I have already posted online, my biopsy results <coughs> and my PET scan results. I posted these. I had taken. <coughs> I had taken photos with a digital camera because the scanner here at my friend's house isn't working. Um, and I already posted those online. And yes, I made my Facebook page friends only now because I was starting to get harassed. I'm trying to heal stage four breast cancer. You think I need to be harassed? So yeah, my page is friends only now. And if you want to come up with uh, some crazy theories about that, go ahead and waste your energy and spend your time doing that. Anybody with half a brain is going to know the truth. So here is the original biopsy, which was done in May of 2015. This was before I had health insurance, but a very nice um, patient liaison nurse type woman helped me hook me ho helped hook me up with this program for women without health insurance for cancer screenings so I was able to get this biopsy done so here you go here's my name Jennifer Felici here's my face da 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 I'm holding this this is real hello it's real um I can't even believe I'm proving this right now so I'm going to get a little closer. I don't know if you can read this. Let me get my hands off the words, first of all. Um, here you go. This is the original biopsy. Now it doesn't say the word stage 4 here, but after this biopsy was done, I was sat down by an oncologist and she told me that it is considered stage 4. So that that's that. You can see there's a date on there of when the biopsy was performed. Wait, is that the date? Nope, nope, nope. There's the date. Okay, May 2015. Okay, so if you need to pause and read this, go for it. So there's that. Okay, I'm trying to hold this iPad. I'm sorry for the bumpiness. Um, here <laughs> is some more details on what it looked like at the time. Um, in May of 2015, there's my name again, Jennifer Felici, that's my name, um, some more details, sorry, I don't want to obscure any of the words here, give anyone else crazy conspiracy nuts a chance to come up with more theories, <laughs> oh, this is driving me nuts, and this is the last time I'm going to spend any energy on this, by the way, proving this. <coughs> I have much more important things to do. So the only reason I'm doing this is because my aunt, who I love very much, has asked me to do this. So pause if you need to read this. Here you go. There's that. Next. 
Let's see, what's this one? Wait, I already showed that one. Okay. Um, um, oh, that's actually the same thing. Okay, next is the PET scan result. The PET scan was to determine where the cancer had spread to, if anywhere, and um, the size of the tumors and everything internally. So they injected me with this radioactive stuff, which was not fun, but I felt at the time that it was important, and now I'm glad that I did it. So there's my name, Jennifer Felici. The date was May 13th, 2015, if you can see that. PET, CT, tumor evaluation, skull to mid-thigh. Whole body pet scan. If you want to read this, please pause. Let me fix that. Okay. Please pause. I'm doing my best. I mean, this is a, an iPad camera, so I don't know how well you can see. This is already running too long. What are we at? Over 11 minutes? I didn't mean to make this video this long. <coughs> I need to take a break very soon. So please <laughs> pause and read this. So there's that if you need to read it. Okay? All the details. And there's one last little bit of a page here. So there's that. This is absolutely the last bit of energy that I'm going to put toward proving anything. If you don't believe that I'm being honest, then please go harass somebody else. There is somebody who's harassing me through email, and if he continues, I will be uh, taking further steps um, to remedy that. And anybody who harasses or cyberbullies me will be dealt with. I'm not somebody who just sits back and takes harassment, so especially not in the condition or state that I'm in. So please go harass somebody else and anybody who has, like I said, a heart or has a brain is in touch with their intuition is going to know that this is true. I have a lot of real life friends who are backing me up. Um, and. I can't even believe that I'm addressing this. I didn't want to. And I send love to everybody, regardless. Regardless. And if you don't want to help, and if you don't want to donate, then don't. Don't do it. The universe is creating a way for me <coughs> to save my life. And if you're not a part of that, then you're not a part of that. Please leave me alone. That's all I ask. And even to the people who are harassing me, I send you love. I honestly, honestly do. And that's really all that I have to say. Bye. Never going to forget. So here's a, here's, a, here's a little thing off topic for all those people. That, there's a, a person called Jen. I never ever mentioned a name on any of my videos, but people brought it up. They asked me questions about such and such, my opinion. So I'll share my opinion. I never mentioned any names. But this, these these people claim I killed this person because I didn't give them, give her two hundred thousand dollars or didn't you know plug her thing and I, all I asked for was evidence that it wasn't a scam and I didn't really get that but I took the video down anyway um, just because I don't want to be associated with sort of drama and you know, energy drainers like those people I stopped her fundraiser I didn't stop anyone's fundraiser you dickhead what, how much did you donate to, donate to her how much did you donate why didn't you all your fuckers get together and raise a million dollars you could have. You didn't, because you're fucking lazy as fuck, so fuck off.
sure if he made a video about me killing Jen, whatever the name was, I'm not sure. But yeah. people can help people me in the contest. I don't even know who this person is. I've never met them. People ask me to give two hundred thousand dollars, and I'm just like, it sounds like a scam to me. Blah 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 blah. Um, and then they make a video, take me out of context, and it's like, yeah. People expect me to remember everything that people will send me or tell me or whatever. And then they can take me out of context or get angry when I don't. It's like, man, there's no one on the internet who answers more questions than me. There is nobody on the internet, on YouTube, on Tumblr, who answers more questions, who makes more videos than me, answering the questions for my viewers. So if you expect me to remember every single question or every single donation or whatever people ask me to give or I give or whatever, like, that's unrealistic. And if you want to go and take me out of context to make me look bad, then that's, that's a shit can't move. They literally asked, they asked for $200,000, literally. Like, so people wrote me and asked me on YouTube and said videos, and need $200,000, doing writing a lot of money, give it to me. And I was just like, and I said, I've got to be angry, so this is a fucking scam, blah, 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 blah. You know, I, th I, th I said, I think it's a scam. I want more proof. If you want to ask for money from strangers, then give more proof. And then that the gen person, other people are like, why should we give proof? Just give us the fucking money, basically. And I'm like, that's just, fuck that. Fuck that. So I said some things that I didn't really like in hindsight, so I deleted the video. But then people used the video and didn't even use the whole video, took me out of context, and made me look like a fucking bad bastard or whatever. And then I didn't show the other videos that I made, and I let it delete because I thought I wouldn't get involved in more drama, because people just take me out of context, and here we are today. Here we are today. And then someone saying, apologize to Jen's family, like, who? I don't, where's the contact? Who are they? I don't even fucking know. Like, who are these people? You idiots. You know? Like, who? Give me the phone. Like, what? And what contact? What do I say? Like, who? Who? What? For when? What did I do wrong? Like, pin it out there. I'm not making up a fucking video where you take me out of context. Like, why? What? What's your fucking life purpose, man? To spend fucking every day writing shit about Durham Rider. Get a life, man. Get a life. Some fucking comments people get. I don't need to apologize to anyone. If I feel I've been wrong, I'll, I'll apologize. Um, but when people want to take me out of context, then I don't really have time for that. You know, Save by plants. This person's in a trolling or whatever. You know, apologize, you fucking shit cunt. Make the video, you wanker. No one took you out of context. Yes, they did, and so did you, Mr. Saved by Plants, whatever your name is. Haters just love to take me out of context all the time. They make a video. They say, do you know what about this video? So where's the full video? Why did you chop off the star? Why did you, like, jump cut it? Like, what did I say before then? What was the follow-up video? What was the, and the end? You know? You didn't show that, did you? You just want to take me out of context because your life's so boring. Apologize to Jen's family, people have respect for me. I think the only person who's asking me, bro, on the internet is you. I don't even know really who this Jen person is. I don't even know who the, their family is. I don't even know what the deal is, really. All I know is I got asked for $200,000 by some strangers, and I said no, and I made a video about saying why I said no. And then some weirdos on the internet take me out of context, and some haters like Kerry McCarper, whatever, further take me out of context. And then they go and worship Dan the man who's cooking up another scam, and it's just a weird world, man, it's the internet, so, it's a weird world out there. Rest in peace, Jennifer Fuller. Is she even dead? Is she even dead, though? Was it a scam? I don't know. I'm just asking the question. Is she even dead? Where's the paperwork? Where's Where's the official documentation? Where is the birth death certificate for that person? I've never seen it. I'm not saying it's a scam. I'm just I just ask questions. A lot of suspicion still there for me.
So doing right as a murderer now, apparently that I'm a murderer uh, because I didn't give $200,000 or whatever was asked for me. I don't even know if it was last year or this year or there was someone on the internet asking for money for to go to Mexico. It's fucking raining. But for a juice thing or anything like that, and asking me directly for $200,000 or 170000 it was, it was just, I've got all these emails from, I don't even know, I get emails every day, people ask me for money every single day. And it doesn't make me angry because I understand that, you know, people just, they see me as like a bit of a money bank or whatever. And so I get hit up a lot. And then some people were like, then Karen, Kerry McCarpy, Kerry McCarpy, someone who I did respect before she went all jealous and Hollywood on us. She's like, you know, you should donate or what do you think of this? And so I watched a video by someone, there's, there's a girl in the US by the name of Jen. Um, and it just it looked really like weird to me. And this was at the time when uh, I was getting sued by Kayla or something with Kayla. It was something, I don't even remember the exact days, but there's a lot, a lot of stress in my life. And so I see this thing on the internet, someone's asking for money, and people are saying, ask, and then she's, someone's asking me, I don't even know what the fuck was going on, but I was being asked for money, blah, 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 blah. I can't, and people expect me to remember every single fucking detail of every conversation I have with people on the internet. And there's not a single person on the internet who talks with more people than I do. So to expect you not to remember every single conversation I have with you is just really, really fucking unrealistic. You don't remember every conversation that I ever had with everyone, so why the fuck would you expect me to? But anyway, so I was like, this seems like a scam to me. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? And then the, the girl made a video saying, why should I provide proof? And I'm thinking, hang on, you're asking for like $200,000 or whatever you're asking for, just from strangers from me, and you're not willing to provide proof. This seems like a scam. So I said something like, you know, this person's like maybe a drug user or whatever, because that's what I genuinely thought at the time. I later took the video down after a couple of days because I felt like it wasn't really serving a purpose and it was creating more drama. I was like, I'm, I'm out here, I'm just out. But what people did is they took that video, re-uploaded it, cut it, edited it, didn't show the ending or the start or the follow-up videos, and took me out of context. And they still do that, even on the Tumblr posts I wrote. They still take me out of context. They don't understand that those Tumblr posts were edited or removed or whatever, or photoshopped or... You know, my opinion changed at the time. That's why I deleted stuff, because I'm like, this is just crazy. And I still don't know what's going on. You know, someone said the other day on my live stream, they're like smashing me, like, you fucking killed this girl. You're a killer, Duranada. You're a killer. And so I was like, fuck off. And I'm like, is this person even dead? I don't even know. And then Joe Best took me out of context, and he's saying that Duranada's like, he's lost it. He's got to step up. And it's like, fuck off, man. Like, Joe, I answer more questions. And no, I rate Joe, but I understand. He, but he took me out of context, man. Why would you take me out of context? Just email out, message me and say, hey, do you know what? Is this, is this true? Like, you only live a couple of k's from me, bro. Like, message me. Um, and so I messaged Joe back. He didn't message you. I messaged him and said, look, you know, I watched this video because people sent it to me. And it's just more people take me out of context. Why? Come to me directly. But anyway, I don't like to get involved too much with that sort of stuff because it gives the haters opportunities to hate. And then people who generally have a legit cause, like this girl who does have a legit cancer situation, um, the one I put up the video yesterday, Alexis, a little Aussie girl, you know, we raised like, thanks to Assis and uh, Jake and a few other guys for, for donating to that, that was really awesome. We raised a bit of money, a couple of hundred bucks, that's really good. But where are the haters? Where are the haters now? They're not to be seen. They're not to be seen. So I do apologise if anyone was offended by what I wrote, but you asked for me for my opinion and what you get from Drew and what you get from me, Harley Johnstone, is my honest opinion in that moment. Does it change sometimes? Yes. And I, that was the only video I've ever deleted from YouTube. So I do apologise if people got offended, but why do you take, take me out of context? Why do you keep bringing up the past? The only reason I'm making this video is because more people made videos this week about it. I'm happy to let it settle, but people aren't because they want blood. They say I'm a killer, why don't you go down to Mexico and go to the guy who is charging $2,000 or $20,000 a week or a day for carrot juice and vitamin C shots? Why don't you go to him and say, hey mate, how did you feel while kicking this girl out of bed and letting her die? Because I'm meant to be the killer, apparently. But why don't you go, why, where's the charlatan who's charging that much money to drink fucking carrot juice and do vitamin C shots, which I think are good things, modalities, but... Man, if you've got stage 4 cancer, that ain't going to save you, in my opinion. That's a scam in itself, in my opinion. 
you asked for it, you got it. That's my opinion, man. So why are these people getting all crazy on it? Because they just fucking hate me, man. And the perfect example of that is that they won't go after the person who's charged. Where did all that money go? Apparently, they got raised and spent. Where did it all go? Go to that person and say, hey, we gave you all this money. What the fuck did you do with it? Why come after Drew and Ryder? Because you hate me. You're just jealous. It's not really because of what I did. I mean, some people, some of my loyal fans maybe did get confused and a bit miffed by it. And I apologize to those people. But the vocal minority is just the haters, man. It's just the haters who, no matter what I do, it's not good enough ever. So genuinely, I... And here's another thing with that scam thing. You've got to put, you've got to put everything in context. Look up Bell Gibson. I'll put a link to it down below. Bell Gibson was an Australian, and that was around the same time that all this uh, donation thing was going on. And she turned out to be a fraud, a scam. And so when I saw these people are saying, do not give money, give money, give money, and then I said to this girl, well, where's the proof? And she's like, well, why do I have to give proof? And I'm thinking, this feels, for me, feels like a fucking scam, because that's what I've grown up, man. I've grown up in the fucking hood of fucking Australia, South Australia, fucking Morfolk Valley, etc. Hackham, where now people are getting stabbed and fucking shot, stealing cars, dealing drugs, getting arrested and shit. So I come up, I've grown up with that scam mentality that shit's fucking not always as it fucking seems. So when people ask my opinion, I'm going to fucking share it. Some people get offended. So hopefully this video can clear up that I don't believe people should charge that much money for someone to lay in bed drinking carrot juice. I believe if you're asking for money and someone asks you proof, you should go, here's the proof, boom. And not say, oh, well, why do I have to have proof? Because that's going to create more things in people's heads, more assumptions. If you don't want assumptions, be totally transparent and honest. Now, someone said something the other day that she's dead or whatever, and I don't even know. People fake their fucking deaths all the time. I'm not saying she has, but people fake deaths. People blindly believe everything that's told to them. Now, I'm not saying it's a scam, but that's just my... I don't have any proof. I don't have any proof. This is just my opinion. And if you're getting crazy about Drew and I's opinion, then you need to get a life and stop being just such a fucking hater, man. And you guys who really fucking hate me need to band together and pull up hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you could do that if you all chip in a thousand bucks. That's a couple of hundred thousand dollars. And by your rationale, you could have saved this person by giving them more carrot juice by that fucking scammer charlatan in Mexico. I don't even know what his name is. He's that fat alcoholic looking dude. Why don't you make any videos about him? Exactly, because you're just jealous of me and you hate it. And there's a few of you out there who are genuinely confused by what I said. I'll keep it real. If I'm gonna have a spit, I've got to spit. I'm gonna share my honest opinion. And for the, 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 the viewers who are still left, who are still like, I'm gonna confuse you and I wrote that or said that, you got to understand the context. You, you got to come to me if you have an issue. Obviously, I get a lot of emails and messages. I can't be out to everyone. But when you see a hater making a video about me or showing a Tumblr post without the follow-ups, then they've taken me out of context purposely to defame and slander and make me look worse than I really am. Am I perfect? No. Do I fuck up? Yes. Am I human? Yes. Am I sorry for anyone who's genuinely offended? Yes, I am. Deeply. If you have an issue, come to me directly. Come to fucking Thailand and stop and say, Harley, I've got an issue with this. And I'll fucking give you my time, man. Ask anyone who's done that.